Hello! Hi! My name is Cleo. Welcome to another Around Our World video. Today we're traveling all the way to the continent of Asia <gasps> to visit China, the yellow country in the middle. See where there's a panda bear. There's lots of yummy food. Lots of people use chopsticks to eat in China. There we're going. We're going to China today. We're going to learn all about China. We're going to read a story about a little boy who lives in China. But first, let's sing our hello song. Hello world. Hello world. Hello world. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. Today we are going to learn to say hello in Mandarin Chinese. There are so many different languages in China, so we're just gonna pick one and learn to say hello in that language. Today we're gonna learn to say hello in Mandarin, Mandarin Chinese. We say hello to one another in Mandarin by saying Ni hao. Ni hao. Hello. Ni hao. Okay, now you try. Repeat after me. Ready? Ni hao. Let's put it all together. Ni hao. Yay, ni hao. Hello. Let's say ni hao to our stuffy friends, okay? Ni hao, owl. Ni hao, hello. Ni hao. Squirrel. Ni hao. Ni hao. Who? Tiger. Ni hao, tiger. Hello. Ni hao, ni hao, ni hao. Ni hao, world. Ni hao, world. Ni hao, world. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everyone. Ni hao. Ni hao, welcome to China. <laughs> the Forbidden City is big and old, big and old, big and old. The Forbidden City is big and old. What, what a big city. The Great Wall is long and tall. Terracotta Army. The army keeps the emperor, emperor, emperor. The army keeps the emperor. Jin Shi Huang, hooray! The Kung Fu Fighter goes hoi hoi hoi, hoi hoi hoi. Come on, guys! The Kung Fu Fighter goes hoi hoi hoi. Me, Eric, Sun. Like I said, we're gonna read a story all about a little boy who lives in China. Let's get to it! Today's story is all about what life is like for this child in China. The story is called Living in China. Let's see what it's like. Ni hao. That means hi in Mandarin Chinese. My name is Jin, and I live in China. China is a country in Asia where more than one billion people live, including me, including Jin. China is a very big country. It is the fourth largest country in the whole world. There's only three countries in the world that are bigger than China. Because of China's size, it is home to all sorts of 
deserts and mountains, rainforests and rivers. There's all kinds of climate and all kinds of terrain. There's desert terrain, mountain terrain, all kinds of terrain, all kinds of weather, all kinds of climate. Few people live in northwestern China. In the north is the Gobi Desert. And the Gobi Desert is one of the largest deserts in the whole world. In the west are the Himalayan mountains. Many of the highest mountains on earth are part of this mountain range in China. And it crosses through five different countries. It's not only in China. The Himalayan mountains goes through five different countries. So we know China has deserts and China has mountains, but I heard that China has forests, rainforests and rivers too. Southern China and its islands are home to rainforests. The rainforests are filled with animals like tigers and monkeys and elephants. Oh my! I see some other animals in the photo. Do you see some small animals flying? Butterflies and birds too. China's rainforests have lots of animals. China's longest rivers, the Yellow and the Yangtze, run through central and eastern China. Most people live in eastern China in cities along the coast. Most people that live in China live by the water. See how all the cities are there near the water? And then there's not a lot of buildings as you go into the, along the rivers, the Yellow River and the Yangtze River. These are famous cities in China. The first city is Shanghai. Shanghai is among the biggest cities in the world. There are more than 24 million people there. That's more people than live in Ontario. It has the most skyscrapers. Oh, Hong Kong is also big. And Hong Kong has the most skyscrapers of any city in the world. It has the most super duper tall buildings. Hong Kong, China, another city in China. Xi'an is one of the oldest cities in China. Many cool museums and artifacts from China's history or China's past can be found there. And then Beijing is the capital of China. Beijing. Beijing. My favorite part of Beijing is the Forbidden City. Ooh, I wonder why it's forbidden. It is a huge palace where the emperor used to live. Emperors are like kings. Back when China had emperors and kings, or something like kings, they lived there in Beijing, in the Forbidden City, in palaces. I live in a city in eastern China called Hangzhou. I live with my mom, dad, and aunt Zhen in an apartment. Hangzhou is famous for its beautiful lake. See you and many temples. The Sihu Lake in Hangzhou. My mom works at a bank and my dad works for a power company. Aunt John moved in with us last year. She came to find a good job. In China, many people move to cities to find better jobs. That happens in Canada too sometimes.
Each morning, I wake up and I brush my teeth, and I put on my school uniform. Then I meet my family in the kitchen for breakfast. School uniforms are clothes that you wear almost every day. They're very similar, and other people at your school wear the same clothes too. It shows that you all go to the same school. Today we're eating noodles with eggs and spring greens. In China, we eat most of our food with chopsticks. Have you ever eaten with chopsticks? I'm not very good at eating with chopsticks. I have to keep practicing so that when I eat Chinese food or even Japanese food, I don't able to use chopsticks. I'll have to practice. After breakfast, I take the public bus to school with my dad. School starts at 7:30, and there are 35 kids in my class. Our first lesson is about China's history. People have been living in China for at least 40,000 years. In 221 BCE, Emperor Qin brought many parts of China all together. There were all these small parts of China, and they all got brought together by Emperor Qin, and he began to build the Great Wall of China to protect China from Mongol tribes in the north, from other tribes of people. They built this big wall to keep them out. Then the Han Dynasty came to power. A dynasty is a family that rules a country for a long time, sometimes hundreds of years. So after Emperor Qin, it was time for the Han Dynasty. The Han family ruled China, and there were great improvements in farming during that time. For the next one thousand years, different dynasties came and went. Different families came to power and ruled, and then the next dynasty started. Under the Tang family dynasty, China had a great military. Under the Song dynasty, there was a lot more focus on art and science. See the beautiful vases that someone is painting. But then the Mongols invaded China. Uh oh. Uh oh. One hundred years later, a peasant brought the people together, and they overthrew the Mongols who overtook China. They overthrew them. They beat them. The peasant founded the Ming Dynasty and finished building the Great Wall of China. China's last ruling dynasty ended in 1912, just about a hundred years ago. The people rebelled against the emperor and created a new government. They said, "We don't want emperors to be our bosses anymore. We would like to have a government. We would like to vote." My favorite part of history is learning all about China's great inventions. The Chinese are credited with inventing paper, printing, silk, and even fireworks. They were invented in China. A Tang emperor is even said to have made the first ice cream. <gasps> ice cream was invented by the Tang emperor of China. What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Wow, ice cream was invented in China. After history class, we have math and reading, and then it's time for lunch. I'm eating white rice, pork, and dal cabbage. Mmm, 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 sounds delicious. Next, it's time for science class. In science class, we're learning about animals and plants from prehistoric times. Can you think of a prehistoric animal? Do you see it on the chalkboard? Dinosaurs are prehistoric animals. They were around before people. 
dinosaurs. Remember the Gobi Desert in China? 80 million years ago, the Gobi Desert was home to dinosaurs. Dinosaurs lived in the Gobi Desert in China millions of years ago. So every year, scientists go to the Gobi Desert and they dig up bones. They find dinosaur eggs and they find dinosaur bones underneath the Gobi Desert in China. Next, I have English and computer class. On other days of the week, I also have art and music and gym class. What are some things you like to learn about? I like to learn and practice my reading and I like dancing, so I think I would like gym class and music too. School ends at four o'clock, but today I'm staying late because I need extra help with my homework. My dad picks me up and we buy bauza, yummy, to eat on the walk to the bus stop. Bauza are steamed buns with different fillings. Mine has onions, rice, and pork. Yum! I love bauza. I love bauza. It's so yummy, especially when there's pork inside. That's my favorite. Have you ever had bauza before? When we get home, my dad and I talk about tomorrow. Tomorrow is the Dragon Boat Festival. We celebrate the poet Chu Yuan, who lived more than 2,000 years ago. Each year, people race dragon boats and they eat tasty rice dumplings called zongza. I have the day off from school, so my dad and I are going to see the race. I'm so excited! Which dragon boat do you think is going to win? I think the yellow and red boat will win. Aunt Jen and I set the table for dinner. My dad made vegetables, rice, and fish in a vinegary gravy sauce. Mmm. We will also have soup after dinner. It looks delicious. I eat lots of rice too, just like this kiddo. After dinner, I get ready for bed. I flip through my mom's old passport book and I look at all the places in the world she's been to. When I grow up, I want to visit lots of countries too. Would you like to visit China someday? I sure want to visit China one day. Are there any other countries you want to visit one day? And that's the end of our story, Living in China. I hope you enjoyed learning about China with me today. I would love if you went in the description and looked at more of our around the world videos if you're interested in learning about more countries. Okay, everyone, until next time, bye bye.